if you like really unusual sounds, you're not going to need my help to get them from the Mood Pedal by Chase Bliss. This is one where you can just take it out of the box and start fiddling with the knobs. And whether or not you know what you're doing, it's just going to sound really wild and cool. <laughs> But in this video, I'm going to show you five very specific settings I found, each of which has a clear purpose and which you can use as your go-tos when you're not just exploring what else the pedal can do. For starters, I found a setting where the mood will reverse everything you play. It'll just constantly take whatever you're doing and spit it out backward in real time. Now, playing something backward in real time is like a nonsensical concept, but somehow that's what the pedal is doing with this setting. And nonsensical concepts are what I'm all about. So that's why I made this the first pro tip. You can also use the mood pretty straightforwardly as a harmonizer pedal on certain intervals. Here's the setting for my old favorite, Perfect Fifths. You can also use it to harmonize one octave up, in which case the result is like a wacky sounding 12 string. For the next pro tip, there are two things going on. One is that the mood is undersampling the guitar signal, and the result is a bit crushing effect. Except that in this case, the mood has a sweetness that I don't get from many other bit crushers I've played. Uh, the other thing that's going on is that as a result of the way it's sampling and trying to grab every note, there's a repeat there's an extra delayed note that comes in. And if you time your playing of that carefully, you can get all kinds of cool rhythmic effects that are intricate. Uh, so for the example you're about to see, I start out by doing that, and then partway through, I come in with an overdub where I let it mangle my signal more, and I make less of an attempt to exactly match the timing of the pedal, and I just let it be a little more chaotic. Thank you. 
for the next pro tip, I've created a chorus effect by very carefully dialing in the pedal's uh, ability to oscillate internally. The fact that we're using the internal oscillation on this one means that you're going to have to deal with the terrifying number of dip switches on the top of this pedal. But it's okay. Just do exactly what I'm showing you to do, and it'll sound good. <laughs> The mood has an input for expression pedals. So for pro tip number five, I'm using it with the sidestep. The sidestep is this thing that's like a programmable expression pedal or external LFO. It just does what a normal expression pedal does, but you can program it to move at speeds and in patterns that go beyond what any physical expression pedal is capable of. For this example, I have the sidestep um, oscillating the clock speed on the mood and the result is a really incredible sound i wasn't able to make this happen with the moods dip switches and internal oscillators maybe you could uh i just used the sidestep and it sounded amazing and i didn't look back <laughs>